Hi, this is Lisa and thanks for joining me. In this video, we are gonna look at how to make these cowrie shell designs to go on the breast collar and the halter. Let's get started. I have posted a link to my Pinterest and it gives you ideas of what these look like in real life. So plan out yours to your own design. I would love to see it. The first thing I would suggest doing is to create some pieces similar to what you want with Fimo and test your cooking temperature and time. Then make sure, give it a squeeze, make sure it doesn't crumble apart and that it's solid and that everything's staying in. Now with the little beads I have, I will probably have to put a finish on those before I move them. But you can see here with the temperature I did uh, for 15 minutes and I believe it was 140C, I had no problems. So first thing to do is test because if you make all your cowrie shells and decorations and they don't work, you'll be very upset if you burn them or they don't cook properly. For my cooking surface, I am using a glass bowl that I can put in the oven and I'm turning it upside down. So before I start making these, I'm going to set up the area that I want this stuff to go. Just so I have an idea, I wanna know how long it is. So if I do that and draw a line from there to there, then I'm gonna make sure I have the right width. I do a second line with that width. And with the point, I'm gonna do the same thing up this way. Now that gives me the constraints of the breast collar and I'm going to do the same with the bridle. So that is giving me the area that I want to decorate. So that's the two sides of the halter and the v-shape of the uh, breast collar. Next I'm going to cut that out and with the bowl facing right side up and that facing down I'm going to tape that in. Now I am not going to cook with this in, but this is gonna give me a workspace. Now you're free to design on top of the glass and before cooking, we'll just remove the paper. Now I'm gonna take my uh, polymer clay. I'm gonna use white for the actual cowrie shells and I'm gonna put that aside for later. Then I'm gonna choose my base colors. So for my design, I think I'm gonna use yellow for some bases and red for another. So all I need to do is break off a little corner of the one I wanna work on and work it in between my fingers until it's soft. I'm gonna do a few of those. And this stuff is a lot easier to work if you do it in little pieces at a time as opposed to doing one big chunk. Once you've worked your base color, take a little piece and roll it into a ball. Then put it on top of your thing and press it down. That is way too big, so I'm going to take less. Start again, make a little ball. Press it down. Still too big. What you're going to do is determine what size piece of clay you're going to need so that when you take the ball and press it down to create your shapes, so if you're creating round or whatever, that it works. And I'm gonna keep working this down until I have it right. Once you've decided the size you want, I'm gonna roll that back up into a little ball and make a bunch of those so that I have them all the same size. And you can see the color of my hands has turned red after I'm working with this. So if you're changing to another color, so I'm gonna do yellow ones, wash hands well. You only need a tiny little bit of this uh, sculpty to do anything, or Fimo, I mean. Also, make a couple extra. And I also want smaller ones for the bridle, so I'm gonna make smaller rolls for the bridle. So mix up all your colors, and then you can just push them down where you want them, plus a few extra somewhere else. And now I'm gonna go work on my yellow. And I just push them and flatten them. They should look similar. And wash my hands. Here I have my basic layout of the bases and some extras here. Now I'm gonna take my white with very clean hands and soften some of that. For your carry shells, use just pure white. Don't try mixing in an off-white or anything here. 
You can get all sorts of ideas of how to place the cowrie shells from that Pinterest uh, that I will link below. And I've saved all sorts of pictures there so that you have a good idea what you're doing. Now, once you have your white, we're gonna break it out, take tiny little pieces and roll it into a tiny little snake. I'm rolling out the white on a clean piece of paper. Then I am going to cut little pieces, beansy, beansy little pieces. That's still too big. That right there can be placed on one of these bases. And I'm gonna do four on one of these bases. Just give it a little push down. Now, if you wanna take a toothpick, you can actually make four little places for these, let's take that out of the way, for them to sit in so that when you place them, and I'm gonna do this off screen so I keep it nice and clean. When you place them, it will sit in a little bit. Just cut off the end there. And there we have our first cowrie shell. I'm just gonna place my second one so it touches in the middle. And I'm using the stick to cut off the end where I don't need it. Now here I've got all four little pieces on. And that's my four cowrie shells. And you could do this now or after. Using a pin, just a simple sewing pin, just gonna press down in the center, in the middle of these, to give it a cowrie shape. You can see how quickly that actually looks like a cowrie shell. Now, after it is cooked, we can add some color to it if you want. Now, we can add a piece in the middle here to color. And let's say I'm gonna add a piece of green and I'm gonna add some beads around here. So you have the option of doing all of these with the cowrie shells first. Here is the first set. Now that I've got on the cowrie shells, I'm gonna change some designs up for the yellow section. So now I'm working with some green and I'm gonna put centers. I'm gonna put a green in here and I'm just gonna use the head of my pin to push down an area where I want my centers to be. Then create little balls of the green so that when they're pressed down, they fit well in the center. Now make sure because if that is yellow and this is green, this color is going to transfer quite easily. So you're gonna to have to be careful with doing this like you are for the rest of this by not touching the rest. As you can see my fingers are turning green very quickly. So I'm gonna test the size of the ball for the what I want. And once I have it right, I will press it into the center. And I might push it down just a little. Now, I will be placing beads on here, but next, but first I'm gonna put all my green centers in. Now I've completed doing all the little centers. All I did was put little tiny pieces and then push them into place with the end of my pin. And with these are just a tiny little spot. I made a little hole with my pin and then just popped it in, put it down. Now I'm going to put beads here. These are the same beads that I used for the ends of the tassels. They are micro beads. And you can find them under nail art or caviar beads. And what I'm going to do is place them around the edges and between the cowrie shells. You can set the places where you want your beads by putting little holes in with a pin. Just give it a little room so that it, they will sit in. Now I've tried various tools, including this bead picker upper that's got wax on it. But I find just getting a little one on your finger, putting it in the right location and moving it with the pin is the least of problematic. And then I'm just gonna poke that down with the end of my pin. Again, another one, 
pick it up with my finger, place it on, and put it into location with the pin and push it in so it stays. Once you've finished your designs, take the paper off the bottom and once your oven is preheated, put it in and make sure time, put the timer on. Do not miss the timer or you may burn this. Now optionally, you could take a wash paint or a watered down off-white paint, brown paint, and a teeny tiny paintbrush, I have a 5-0, if you want, and you can add a little bit of color to the uh, shells. That's totally optional. Once these are out of the oven, you can paint them carefully with a matte sealer before moving them. Uh, Vimo has a matte sealer, or you can use an acrylic sealer. Once these uh, are dried see from the sealer, you can just take something flat, if they're stuck, and just give them a little push to remove them. To apply these, you're gonna want to use a, a super glue or crazy glue. So you're gonna wanna try the piece on first before you glue it. And then when you put it down, you wanna make sure it's right in the right spot because they're color can run and you can wreck your uh, beautiful work. So take it, take your time when gluing these on. You may want to use a tool for that and make sure that you have a very fine applicator for your glue. And here we are with all the cowrie pieces and decorations glued on. So have fun with your design and